Uh, well, metta uh, means loving kindness or loving friendliness. There's various different translations. Uh, it's the first of the immeasurables, the um, what, we, what we call the sublime abidings, uh, the um, Brahma Viharas, immeasurable apamana. Um, these four qualities, metta, karuna, mudita, upeka, loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and serenity or equanimity, these are what we would call the, um, the emotions of the pure heart. And so when the, the heart is free of, of uh, greed, hatred, and delusion, then the emotional disposition of the jitta, of the heart, is a blend or one of these, these four qualities. So it's the emotional tone of the enlightened mind functions through these four modes. So metta is that basic um, well-wishing in relationship to all beings. It's a, like the, the sort of starting point or the ground is of wishing all beings well and uh, so it's a quality of, of kindness. One of the things that it's important, even though we use the word love in loving kindness or, or loving friendliness, it's, it's more to do with kindness. Oftentimes, uh, and Ajahn Sumedha would often emphasize how we mistake loving for liking and that you can love something and not like it at all. Um, and so metta, uh, he would often emphasize, is not, you're not trying to make yourself like everything. Metta practice is not trying to force a sweetness when there's bitterness. But you can be kind to, to that which is not likable. Like I have a, a pond out here, you can hear the, 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 the fountain going, there's many fish that live in the pond. Well, there's occasionally a heron that comes along that likes to feed on the fish, so that I feel protective towards the fish in this pond. <laughs> So, and rather than feeling generous towards the heron, I tend to be protective towards the fish. So when the heron comes along, I'll go out and clap my hands loudly or make a noise of some sort. Um, I don't have to like the heron or, uh, uh, or, or to stand aside to let it eat the, eat the, the fish. I can take action um, but, uh, uh, to encourage it to go away, um, but it doesn't mean to say I don't have... Uh, metta for it. <laughs> I say, I love you completely, but no, you're not eating these fish. <laughs> so you, uh, so sometimes metta is mistaken for trying to, to th sort of think pink or have a have a a, a positive attitude or a, a, an attitude of liking everything, which is a, a, a misunderstanding. It's much more to do with with kindness or. Uh, and the way I like to describe it is, is really having two aspects. One is a, is a receptive aspect, which is that the basis of metta is a radical acceptance. In this moment, it's like this. It's an open-heartedness. And that quality of kindness or uh, open-heartedness, I would say that's the real essence of metta. Everything belongs. Uh, even the, the heron that wants to eat the, the, the fish in the pond, that it belongs. Um, everything belongs. Um, uh, and so that radical acceptance, that's the receptive aspect of metta. Then the expressive aspect is like the outbreath, like the in breath is the receptive aspect and the outbreath is the expressive, is then that, that sense of everything belongs and then the, the, the response to that is may all beings be at ease, may all beings be well, may all beings be happy. And so that um, that um, quality of, of well-wishing or of benevolence towards all beings is a result of that acceptance. So they, they work together. It's not just that outgoing quality, but I feel it, uh, an aspect of it that is sometimes missed is the, um, that uh, open-heartedness.